Hello and welcome to the August the 5th edition of the Kubernetes Contributors Summit uh, planning meeting for North America for 2024, which will take place in Salt Lake City on Monday, November the 11th. Uh, please uh, adhere that this meeting is under the code of conduct and uh, which basically means that be nice and excellent to each other. All right, uh, rather quiet week on my side um, and uh, on, on Jean's side. Um, I think the next step that we will have this week is uh, we will meet up with the content team to discuss some, um, uh, some various topics. Um, we are aiming to do this this week because last week a lot of the content shadows have been out on vacation. Um, one additional update, I will be on vacation beginning next week, Tuesday for two weeks. Um, but that's it. Uh, Brienne also gave her update in the channel. There have been three new regist registrations um, and no updates regarding the uh, party venue as far as I saw. Um, next up is Josh with Ops. Okay. Um... Still fairly early in the ops process. Um, we'll have an ops meeting later today, where we'll go over the walkthrough video um, and see how it affects um, plans for operations. Um, uh, the um, that's, that's about it. Then next up, thank you very much. Any questions on this? No. Then next up is Jeremy. This time with content. Hey, happy Monday to everybody. Um, I'm freshly back from vacation, so enjoy your vacation when you go on. It was very refreshing for me. Um, not a lot of updates on our side. There has been one additional submission since last week, so we have a total of seven so far. Um, as Mario mentioned, we're going to set up a call this week to discuss uh, venue structure. Uh, we are still waiting access to Sketch, so that's something we'll follow up on. Um, no updates on the Summit Staff CFP, which is linked there. Uh, one discussion topic we wanted to bring up real quick was discussing the unconference issue. Um, I noticed below that there is a scheduled notification to go out on the 16th after the CFP closes. Uh, we were just curious whether we wanted to circulate that ahead of time, do any outreach to the SIGs um, from the content team. Like we're happy to go and, and ping folks. I think we were maybe worried that it would be too much um, too much pinging going on. We didn't want to spam people with with uh, calls to to submit things. But um, just wanted to bring that up as a discussion topic for the group at large and see how folks felt. Um, we're happy to go and do that before the 16th so that the notification that goes on the 16th can be kind of a wide, a wide net and we can do uh, individual SIG reach out in between that. In my personal opinion, I would just put it with the CFP. That's fine uh, because there's the last summits there have not been too much traction on uh, unconference topics before the event because people basically brought it and mm -hmm. entered it in um, uh, when the when the when the event was happening. And I can remember that uh, Faker and me sat down on the day of operations in Paris and basically uh, filled sketch with the session with the unconference sessions after lunch or something like this. Because people will also vote, uh, most of the people probably will vote on, on the day. So if we yeah. just send it out with the normal CFP, I think that's, that's fine. Um, okay. Because yeah, we don't want to spam people. But any any other uh, any other opinion is also welcome. I, I think that tracks with my general experience with other unconferences outside of 
outside of the contributor summit. Um, generally, I think it's very close to the time when people actually care and vote or submit ideas. Yeah, let's keep it this way. All right. Um, thanks for the update. Any other questions? Uh, but regarding chat, uh, I know that uh, CNCF have not yet set it up. So I, I guess that's because they don't even have uh, the, the program yet. And I guess uh, this will solve itself as soon as they announce the um, and fill in the, the sessions uh, for the for coupon itself. All right, then next up is comms with uh, Ryan. Yeah, uh, hey everyone. So we have uh, sent the awards uh, nomination reminder email and then the final awards uh, reminder to chairs and tech leads. And a uh, design reminder uh, draft is ready for review currently. So uh, next up, we have uh, CFP reminders, which is due on uh, 15th of August. And then there will be four more uh, design or CFP reminders and then two social media posts in August. And in September, we have planned uh, three CFP reminders, two social media remind uh, posts and uh, nine other posts in, uh, I mean, after September. And there are a few notes. Uh, so KubeCon NA notifications are coming out in uh, one week. So schedule, uh, the sh uh, schedule is due uh, on 5th, uh, 14th of August. So good luck to those who uh, have submitted, uh, I mean, the CFP. And uh, first, on unconference comms, uh, schedule is due on uh, 16th of September after CFP closes and there, and after that, uh, so there is a current, uh, I mean, open PR currently, uh, with a few updates to com, uh, com steam handbook. So we are still getting, uh, reviews on that. Uh, and yeah, uh, those were all from com steam. Sounds good. All right. Um, any any questions to this? If not, the next update I will uh, I will. Oh, Drew, you're here, so you can basically give it social with Drew. Yeah, not not too much to update on. Um, as Andrew mentioned, he's still traveling, um, but we're still on track. Just wanted to give a reminder that we've been talking about jigsaw puzzles for the venue. Um, we've observed in past years that that has worked out pretty well, especially in Amsterdam. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any questions or, or further suggestions on that, please reach out. I need to find my unmute mute button. Um... Yeah, uh, so the next up the topic would be meet and greet. Uh, Ray, do you have anything besides what's in the notes? Yeah, uh, no updates this week. That's also fine. Uh, and uh, next, oh, I, I missed registration. I'm so sorry. I went uh, over the list and my eyes were too fast. Uh, registration update with Swirum. Yeah, uh, hey everyone. Uh, so we have a total of 23 registrations right now with 18 uh, non staff attendees. We got, had like a bunch of new registrations come in late last week. But other than that, we're still uh, good. We're still having a like less number of registrations, hoping to see more as we go. Yeah, that's all. All right, next up is, thank you very much. And next up is awards with Mars. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, we got all the awards we wanted to get. We've got 17 responses. Uh, yay. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm not sure how many, how many uh, 
award recipients we will have because some of them submitted four people, some submitted, uh, I need to check. But basically I need to transfer this data to CNCF, to Brian. Uh, we also need to uh, find out, to select uh, the award design. I think it's still it's still ongoing process. And uh, that's it for now. So work in progress, yay. But that's really great that um, people yes. actually came back. Uh, I'm super happy about this. All right, thank you so much. Um, Josh, have you talked to any um, of the uh, contacts from the CNCF regarding the swag? Yeah, uh, well, I'm I'm just dealing with staff swag. Um, oh, yeah, no, yeah, that, that that's the yeah. that that yeah, yeah yeah. So I have I have a budget for staff swag. Um, a lot of it is you know, and they haven't been able to put me in touch with the vendors they're using yet. Um, the uh, for the personalization question, a lot of it's going to come down to timing, because I need to find out from the vendor how early they need the personalizations. So. Um, you know, but there's sort of three possibilities. One obviously would be no personalization at all, um, but I think we have more of a budget than that. The second would be personalization, but only for um, listed staff and not volunteers. And then the, the third would be personalization for everybody. And it will really depend on how the timing works out because I don't want to, I don't want to order personalized items for volunteers until we have them on the schedule. And we might not be able to make a schedule early enough for um, the um, for the order. So we'll see. All right. Thank you very much. Is there any other pressing topic that comes up? If not, then I can happily close the planning meeting after 15 minutes. <laughs> so everyone gets some, some spare time. Thanks for joining. Yep. We will see you watch the video and make notes on it myself. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, that's true, true. Then uh, have a nice week. Uh, see you next week. If any questions occur or come up again, drop in the channel. Uh, have a good week, everyone. Um, and thanks for joining. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your work. Bye bye. Later on. Thanks, everyone. Bye.